welcome, welcome. How are you guys? All right, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Evening for most of us, yes, I'm assuming. Unless you're like Hawaii time, like Debbie, of course. Every time I talk to her, chat with her, I'm like, the time change is crazy. Hello, Linda, how are you? Thanks for saying hi. We'll give a few minutes for people to jump in. It looks like for the most part, all of you guys kind of found your way. I could see you and hopefully you can see me. All right. Okay, well, welcome. Okay, so today's event is just kind of an opportunity for us to play to create. I am going to stick to just a few sets so that we can see the um, inspiration and versatility just using a few sets. This month actually is the placemat number one is a featured set and also the streamers fun border, which we're going to take a real good close look and have a lot of fun ways to create with this set is the featured set. And we just pick a few sets. I've, few, I've heard a few people ask like, you know, if I own a, quite a few designer templates, you know, how do you decide what to create with? And that can be sparked by maybe themes or events that you might be in the mood to scrapbook. And you'll be surprised, of course, for those of you that are familiar, maybe it's not a surprise anymore, but it's still a surprise to me sometimes when you change that paper, that vibe and the aesthetics all kind of changes with it, right? And the reason why I mentioned that is because for me personally, a lot of my creating goals, my scrapbooking, I focus kind of on what those featured sets are. Now, granted, I also scrapbook every month with the Kiwi Club kit. So for those of you that are club members, and so that's always kind of one of those first go-tos. Now, of course, any of the designs that we create tonight can be utilized, again, with any of your paper, and you can change that look. So you'll be surprised. So anyways, so I won't get too deep into it. Let's get to some creating, which is really the fun part of all of this, right, to kind of see how um, incredible those designer templates are. So let's go ahead and move that to the overview, if we can, there. And so that you guys see this top view here. And just seeing how awesome the designer templates are at just sparking those ideas for you, helping you to visualize your design before you cut into anything. And of course, utilizing your paper to create really adorable, satisfying scrapbooking pages in a very short amount of time. So in this time that we have together, we're gonna do a few different layouts. Um, hopefully you walk away with a few ideas of your own as well and or inspired to pull out these sets if you haven't for a while. And I guess I should mention, if you don't have these sets, the streamers is on sale right now for 25% off in the month of March. So along with all the other fun borders. So you check those out as well. All right, so here's what I love right off the bat about these two sets. Streamers is just a really fun, I use that word fun. You're gonna hear it a lot tonight. <laughs> Whenever you pull out a fun border, it genuinely is just fun. That's what's so fun about them. But I love how they give you this kind of building starting point, even just utilizing those one design. It gives me this kind of foundation uh, to build around. So naturally, I'd probably pull in some photos. <clears throat> now, before I pull into anything else, I just want to kind of highlight that. So let me just pull in some you know, typical positions for photos. You could do something like that. Actually, I'd probably even try across in this case because that streamers here, as far as the fun borders, really has that solid foundation. So you can see how just even just that little simple border is kind of framing that page for you, adding a little bit of fun and character. And then this is where you can pull in some embellishments, which I'm not going to do that quite yet. Okay. The other streamers, of course, you can use them on a two page spread. You can use them on a one page. You could say, you know, on the streamers, um, because they are not designed like the traditional 12 inch borders, right? If you do want to mirror that design, then you probably would just trace one for one side of your layout and then trace one for the other side. If you want to mix it up, you could do the streamers two on the right side if you're doing a two-page spread and streamers one 
on the left side. You know, instantly when I look at streamers too, it makes me think again about that foundation. So we're gonna just play with our photos for a moment, okay? So it gives you kind of a place where you can incorporate some photos into the designing process. So we want to allow all these designer templates to inspire us. And then naturally we can start sparking some of those, those creative thoughts and, and it will start triggering some of that for you. But for the most part, if it helps to look at the streamer specifically, you know, as that grounded place where you can kind of ground your pictures or your, your structure of your layout, that's really what I love about them. Because when we start adding all these little accent pieces that are specific to whatever pictures or paper that we're using, then it kind of builds on top of that, right? Now, I'm getting really excited because I'm so excited to share all of these thoughts with you guys, but I really do love streamers. It's a really great go-to. Um, what I was going to say was really quickly, I'm going to go back to these, this basic design, right? So we have our basic design. We haven't added a specific theme to this layout yet, right? There's, you know, if you were scrapbooking your pictures or your paper, I mean, I have some Kiwi paper out just because I love looking at it from this month's Kiwi Club kit. But let's just say, so that we don't get that too stuck in our heads as far as the theme, right? You have a basic, this layout at this very point can go multiple di different directions. We could go, let's see, we could go easily to, I'm going to pull out, well, I don't know. Does anyone have any specific ideas that they want? I'm going to throw a school because I just saw school accessory set. And I actually have a little cutout bus here, but right. So you can add a little embellishment here. I probably actually add a couple more photos along here because that would be cute. I'm going to come to another tip idea here in a moment. And same thing. You can add a little bit of extra little touches here. So now all of a sudden we're creating this, this school theme, right? However, we choose to kind of accent this page. I probably offset that. Cute little title here, something like that. Okay, now we're gonna go from a school and we're going to do, let's see what else I can find instantly in my accessory little thing here. We're gonna go into, all right, let's do a birthday. Celebrate, super fun to use. Actually, I really do think celebrate. I haven't used those two together. I kind of like how that could be really cute. The celebrate banner, kind of utilizing the same thing on the little wave of the streamers number two there. And then cluster a few little balloons. Same thing. And then over here, we maybe build a little ice cream, right? And now all of a sudden we're creating more of, it could be, it could be a birthday. It could just be um, a celebration, a summer page or anything like that, but adding a little accents there, okay? So building on top of those foundations can instantly change those themes of your layout you're trying to accomplish. Now, of course, depending on what paper, that you're going to utilize will also change that. So change the paper, you change the style, it goes with it on that. Okay, so that could go on and on as far as little accent pieces. We could do a, oh boy, just a really simple flower one. Blossom. This could be great for, you know, maybe it, you are doing more of a girly page. Maybe you're doing family pictures. Maybe you're doing travel pictures and it's just you need a general design because you're going to allow those papers, the papers that you pull in to really um, embellish it. And so you're going to take full advantage of the potential of pattern paper and the designer templates are going to help you in that as well. OK. All right. So that's just kind of a fun way to build on top of streamers. They are great foundational piece. And so I always love to look for foundational pieces. 
And then I like to add little subtle accents with our accessory sets um, to add on top of that to give it some more substance, but it still feel makes your, your design feel grounded. Okay. All right. Yes, you can never go wrong with flowers. I know people uh, mention all oh, flowers, but they are just so universal in a lot of ways, cross many, many memories, and they always sell well more than other ones. So I think, yes, I think you're not alone in that, Terry. They are awesome. All right. So here's another really fun thing I love about streamers. I don't know if you guys have tried this yet. It is so much fun. If you haven't tried it, I highly encourage you to pull out streamers. If you don't own streamers, well, you'll you'll love it after I share this one with you. Sonia, can you share that picture so they can see the after and then I'll kind of walk through the process of that um, technique, specifically using streamers. It's so fun to put your pictures as incorporate inside of your streamers, okay? And so the way that you go about doing that, say you have, I just happen to have these, let me grab one. All right, so a picture of my daughter here. I'm just finishing a scrapbook page with her, so I just printed these off. And if you're familiar with the photo sets, we use them as a designing tool, but then we also use them as a cropping tool. Can you take that share off so they can see my overhead now? Perfect, okay. So you can use them as that cropping tool, similar to if you want to incorporate photos into other designer templates. So in this case, if I wanted my photos to follow the curve of this streamers, Four by six is going to be your go-to to simplify it so you're not wrestling too much, but you can see how, right, you can lay those underneath the streamers. Like I said, it's not going to have this. We're going to throw them in here, guys. Um, the at-home printer doesn't print a true four by six, but for the most part, you could print three four by sixes and they would go across the 12 inch width. And I would align it like this. And then what you would do is you just trace on your picture and then all of a sudden you can incorporate those into the streamers. If you want another wider um, mat to go behind that, when you actually go to trace out your streamers, well, there's a couple ways. You can use the tracing disc, which we do offer in the shop. But another way you could just do that, especially with the streamers, is, for example, if you want to extend the width a little bit to give it an edge, right? So if your photos are going to follow this edge, then what I would do is I would trace one side, and then I would move my border and this fun border over a little bit, and I trace the other one. That way I now have this trim, maybe half inch trim top, half trim bottom that is going to mat my pictures that I cut into the wave of the design. And then I incorporate it, my photos into that fun order. Such a fun way to kind of play with that streamers. Streamers number two, love it. Okay, so of course, streamers number two, I'm gonna pull out my mini photos just to add a little bit more you could do where you have, again, that streamers acting as that foundation, your photo mat, you can say, to a, a row of photos. Again, it's going to ground your photos and add more substance to that result, your end result of that page. Super, super fun. I'll be honest, I have never taken streamers one. I was just looking at this and thinking, why have I ever taken streamers one and cut those pictures out of that too? I mean, you'd have to have the right pictures because of the, the depth of some of, you know, the in curves here, but that could be really cute too. So you can use that same technique on, on streamers one, two. I'm going to have to try that now. See, I love creating and just playing with you guys because I always walk away with ideas that, that I don't necessarily think of until you just allow yourself that freedom to play. And then if you just allow that freedom to play, knowing that you haven't cut into anything, there's no big mistakes yet, or, you know, 
oh, concerns. You don't have to be anxious about any of that. Just simply allow the designer templates to be that spark of inspiration for you. And of course, if you need a little bit of a springboard, you so can it's been there the whole time. Oh, hold on. We have black noise here. Sketch, or you can also incorporate idea books as well. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Let me know on the streamers number two or streamer number one. They are not A, B. So when you do cut them out, of course, you'll want to be very efficient use of your paper. So always, always suggest keeping to the edge or if you're not in court, if you're not actually cutting out a true 12 by 12 to start with and you're mid project of something and utilizing half of a sheet, same thing though. You want to just, of course, trace it on both ends and then you would cut those out. Very, very simple in that. And then if you wanted to, you would just cut another one out if you were doing a two page spread in that on those designs. Or if you really love that visual effect, then you can pick up two. I know some people that own two of the fun borders or the streamers because of that. They like to have that that balance on a two page spread for that visual visual need. OK. All right. So let's see. The other streamers is, we haven't even played with this one yet, <clears throat> is streamers number three. Sim, similar fashion, you're going to get this nice little mat that you can build on top of for your pictures, right? And you could do multiple ones across. I think naturally, if I was going to say, we would think, oh, let me fill the whole thing, right? That's not quite working. You could trim down to a smaller size. We could do the three by three. So you get that nice frame, decorative frame in the overall design of your page. So that's really fun, right? And maybe you'll go for that clean look. I actually really love how the three by threes kind of sit right here between these two points. And that's really cute. Hold on. Let's build out the rest of our page. Whoop, let me get it under. I always use the template to pick it up. My when I started to get my nails done, they don't, they don't, they, they look pretty, but they're not as functional sometimes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Look how cute. You can have some things tucking out of your page. Where's a four by four? Let's try tucking that in there. Yeah, I always kind of scoop. If that was maybe helpful for you guys, I always use my template to kind of scoop and pick up these. It probably came out of habit just from demoing, but I use it even when my personal scrapbook, I just, because my fingernails don't want to grab them when they're long. All right. And then again, back to embellishment. If we were doing well, I haven't pulled out these templates yet, but for those of you that are going to be joining us or club members in the PJ Playdate, we are going to create with these templates, but I'm going to just quickly, I'm going to just pull out some of these little accent pieces to give us a sense of, right? Now, now you're adding a theme to your page, whatever that might be. So you're going to add a little bit of a theme little extra touches to kind of work around, add a little bit of, you know, interest to your pictures to really enhance them through your creative expression. So lots of fun ways that you can, of course, create with those. I'd probably actually balance that page. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm so excited to create with those. So, so cute. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is, you know, I mentioned about how using these kind of as that base foundational design streamers, it's kind of my natural formula go to when I play with the streamers. But I was going to say, I showed you just kind of using three across, but you could keep a offset to these, right? You don't have to fill the whole thing. And then this come, becomes either a place where you can add some journaling here, or it becomes again, this little focal point for a little design element. Um, so yes, you can go full on photos across these, these foundational um, fun borders, or you could 
just do a few pictures. You don't have to do even any pictures, which usually my go-to is pictures, but I haven't really played with them. You can just use them as a simple backdrop for maybe more of a, you know, a pop of color or a collage or something like that in your layout design. That could be a quick, easy one pager. Give it a little bit of interest to your page it can also be fun. So whether they're there for a pop of color, whether they're there to um, be ground your pictures and give them a focal point, or whether you want to layer them in a variety of different ways, they are so much fun. All right, streamers. That is a close look at streamers. And along with placemats number one, um, placemats number one, these, of course, all of the placemats are designed to give you that quick design spring from. They actually have uh, suggested uh, photos on them, and they work similar to what I had just expressed to streamers, but they give you a little bit more guidance. Um, so quick guidance in that. So, for example, if I wanted to use, say, a placemat and streamers, I'm going to use streamers for that pop of color, right? Something fun to kind of movement on my page to give it a little bit of life. And then I keep my streamers or my placemat here. You can add two photos here. Now, granted, you don't have to, you can design on top of any of the placemats, but they do have printing on them for that quick page. Right. So if you're looking to kind of use that as that springboard, basically a little sketch that you build off and around um, to create with. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I just can't wait to play with this. Ah, so excited. All right. Let me play with one more thing. I'm going to look and see. Oh, widgets. Widgets is a really fun one. So again, we're going to change that vibe by just simply, simply changing the accessory set. So these placemats, streamers, borders, those are ones that you really can't go wrong with. They are great um, standard sets, but then the accessories come in and your paper, of course, and that's where you really customize it specific to your themes, your events, your memories, your emotions when you're scrapbooking it. Um, colors, all of the above, right? That's where those those choices come in. Um, so here, let's see how this quickly is going to change. That could be cute. Now this does have a stencil cut so that you can trace a little tag out of here. And then a, this can be a great place for a title, for example. So those design elements are on the placement as well. Or you can simply, like I said, you can say, well, I want to use the outside of this design, but this layout specifically that I'm creating, I'm not going to use it. Maybe you used it on your last one. And so you want to maybe build up around it. So there's multiple uses to this one specific designer template and all or all the designer templates. So maybe you want to do something like that. And then I'm going to maybe put a little piece here, actually maybe something like that. Here, let's move to the right side of our layout. I'm gonna pull streamers three in, move my pictures. Let's put our, let's do, let's put a few pictures back on here. So I love this design from widgets. This could be cute, even you could like, Tuck it coming out to add a little um, layering interest, right? I really love what I love about this one is also where you can, you can tuck some pictures in around that too. And that could be really fun. Okay. So just utilizing, changing that. Let's pull a little bit of interest. Layers definitely pull in interest. So if you feel like you're lacking something, maybe you want to just try adding a little. If it's a little, you know, if you're warming up to layers, <clears throat> especially with pattern paper, you can take it slowly. You can take a little at a time so that you can, you know, whatever your style is, there is no wrong or right, clearly. 
Um, so if you like it more of a simple, then just use a few, uh, few little accent pieces from a variety, like one or two sets, right? Hmm. Something like that. And then also if you want, then you could mix and match the sets to give it a little bit more. I'm trying to think here what a good example of that would be. I love that page. I think it's actually a really good full page as it is. Maybe once I start it, you know, you'll see it come to life. But just to kind of show, like, this is where you can mix some more in, right? How maybe if that spot was a little full, you can mix and match them with some other sets and from the your collection. Um, but for the most part, you know, a streamers really do give you that nice foundation. It gives you a place where you can build on top of your photos. And if you like to mat your pictures, I'm a, I'm personally, I'll mat my pictures sometimes. Sometimes I don't mat my pictures. I don't really have a set rule on matting my pictures. It's honestly, for me, it's about what paper I'm using. If I end up matting my pictures, it's because I feel like they were getting lost in the design. And so I'll either add like a quick solid background, like a nice mat to them, or like a white or something like that. Otherwise, I do prefer to add, you know, like I would add a mat like that, just to give it a little bit more. I like mats. Mats are fun, but otherwise I prefer a stylistic mat, whether that's the placemat, whether that's incorporating my pictures in a, the design on a streamers, um, kind of tucking things to bring the eye to my pictures and my members, memories, but overall just to the full layout as a complete cohesive layout. So, all right, guys. Well, in a nutshell, hopefully some of these ideas and insights have been inspiring to you guys. Um, uh, let me read these comment. As a new scrapbook, I usually only map my pictures if I feel like I want to add a little bit more color or pretty pattern. Absolutely, for sure. Sonia, yes, absolutely. Um, a mosi, I think, or maybe that's just a little thing that I've gotten into a habit of using samples in your book instead of creating my own. I like your samples with ideas. Absolutely. And there's no wrong with that. The sketchbook's there for a springboard. And then, of course, um, as you kind of allow, you grow, because I think it takes a little bit of just, you know, strengthening that that um, skill or even just to strengthening your own confidence in yourself and the power of the designer templates. They are beautiful. They will help you create and recreate what you see. And that's beautiful. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. But they're also really great at, of course, inspiring you to kind of see what you want to create. And so if you give yourself that freedom, I think you'll actually open up a few things inside of you <laughs> that you'll be surprised that you'll kind of grow through that as you play to create yourself in that. It's a lot of fun. And I talked about this before. I mean, I'm standing right now for a demo and I usually do when I do this, this demo because I like to to kind of get through that design process and you can kind of get lost in your head or feel overwhelmed with all the options. And that's another valid, valid point, which I think goes back to where we started this event with the question, how do you know what to scrapbook or what are you scrapping for? Well, hopefully with just some of those foundational elements, you can see the, the benefit of how they give your layout structure and balance. And then really when it comes to accents, that depends on your themes, the events. And if you're just looking for something to scrapbook, then just limit your choices and say, okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna only scrapbook, I'm gonna challenge myself to only scrapbook with these three sets and see what I can come up with. And then you'll probably most likely be surprised because even that will pre present a lot of options. Um, at that point, go with that with that layout you'll have many layouts in the future to accomplish with any other future ideas just go with what you first catches your eye 100 percent. all right guys well i am going to leave it at that again if you don't have streamers in your collection and you want to add that one it's a really fun one check out the other fun borders there's a lot of other ones in there this is just specifically what i personally reach for streamers for and then my natural tendency to kind of create with them utilizing them 
but I think also see how you can, there's, it's endless. And so <laughs> you gotta be careful on the options here, but this is a cascade. Look how cute cascade um, would be with streamers. And you could add that little bit of texture and layers that way. We all have different ones. If you like to enhance it with layers, then add a few layers. If you like the simplicity, then keep it to just a few sets. If you really love to add little details and bits and pieces, then by all means, pull those in. There is no wrong. The designer templates are here just to be that tool to spark ideas for you and to help you visualize your design and also to utilize your paper as one of those main resources um, to, to decorate and to showcase your memories. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I don't see any other questions. Thanks again for hanging out with me this evening. And of course, until next time, I hope to see you guys in the community and keep playing to create. If you do end up creating one of these, make sure to tag me because I want to celebrate that creation with you. And of course, those memories of that completed scrapbook page. Huge success. I just colored one more of my little um, layouts that I created and I'm hoping to create <laughs> all six of my pages at the PJ play date this month. I think I will because I'm really excited to create with this kit. It should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. Thanks again. Take care. Bye now.